first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Raka, Kadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well, who teach us this truth through the Spirit of Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. Peace and salutation to the Akiyams, them all who push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. You know, there is the brother Cora from Trinidad Camp coming to you with another lesson to feed the elect at the house of Israel. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you all are the Hebrew Israelites. Right? You know, this lesson I want to touch on is concerning, you know, a Christian, so called Christian from the um, Methodist Church. You know, he asked me why we in this condition. You know why we see why we catching why we catching hell in this place. You know I told him you know it's for disobedience, for breaking the Mosaic commandments. You know, but he had it to, he had it to go. You know, so I say you know I will do a short little lesson. You know, so I give him my page, my YouTube page. You know, so you know so I say I will do this lesson. You know, so you got the time. You know, to go through it. You know, so I got a few little precept, you know, through the spirit of your Basha and Yosha, you know, you to do this lesson, you know, to show him why we in this low state, why we see, why we catch in hell, why we dis why we distress in this place, right? The first scripture I already pray as a raya. One start at verse five. He said, For we have sinned and commit iniquity, departing from thee. So we depart from the, our Lord, right? He saying, "All things have we trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us." Right? So we didn't keep the Mosai commandment for things to go good with keep with, with with us. Right? We broke the Mosai commandments and end up in this condition. Right? Now why the most he put these dogs, these these heathens, these people who he say has nothing over us. Right? So that's why we catch in hell in this place. Because we turn our back on our father. You know? And I don't see this I don't see this as a this love the most I show in we. Right? Yeah, we we in hell. We catch him with tail. But I just look at this as, as love. The most I show we that he love us. Right? Because just as a father will correct his son for his son to go the right way, this is how the father hey, correcting we. Right? This is how the father correcting we. You know, and I will take correction, you know, hey, to turn back, hey. It's a lucky, it's a lucky, you know, hey, father forgive me. You know? So this is how they, they love the most I show me to correct we. To put me back on track, you know. A father doesn't want to be proud of his children, you know, to see his children going the right way. That is the Mosai, you know, he want to see his children go the right way and serve him and listen to him, you know. So, all this is part of the Mosai love between us, right? The Second Chronicles 29, start at verse 6. He says, For our fathers have trespassed. And done that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord our power, and have forsaken him, and have turned away their faces from the habitation of the Lord and turned their backs. Right? So we turn away from the Mosai Law, statutes and commandments. You see, also they have shut up the doors and the porch and put out the lamp. Right? So turn away from the Mosai laws. Right? And have not burned incense, nor offered burnt offering in the holy place unto the God of Israel. He said, Wherefore the wrath of the Lord was upon Judah and Jerusalem, and he had delivered them to trouble, to astonishment, and to hissing, as he see with your eyes. So the Mosai deliver we to trouble. We, we, we in trouble, we be in hell. Right, we're in a low state, poverty, subject unto payments. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, we can't see we're in this place, we're in debts. Right, it's in um, Deuteronomy 28, 
verse 37. He said, And thou shalt become astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord Yahweh shall lead thee. You know, these people are calling us niggers, African, wetbacks, all, the, all these things. And we, hey, we, we as kings, we as kings and priests, we are gods. Right? And these, these people who the Mosai say is nothing, who is dogs. You know, hey, calling us all these names. We, we, we better than all these nations. But through breaking the Mosai law, statutes and commandments, hey, he bring us law. And he bring these dogs, these heathens them over us. Right? He say for, back to 2 Chronicles 29 verse 9, he say for law, our fathers have fallen by the sword. And our sons and our daughters and our wives are in captivity for this. Right? So breaking the Mosai commandments, the Mosai sold us into slavery. Right? Back to Deuteronomy 28 verse 41. He said, Thou shalt begot sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Right? So all these things actually happen. The Mosai warn us hey, these things will happen to all if all and listen to me. But we we are we sottish we sottish children, we foolish we dotish, right? We ain't listen, right? Back to Second Chronicles twenty nine verse ten, he said, "Now it is in my heart to make a covenant with the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel, that His fierce wrath may turn away from us." Right? So they will be hey, we gotta turn back. You gotta turn back to the, the Lord your Abba Shem Yashai. As the scripture in Isaiah 55, 55 chapter, we say, Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man is taught. And we turn back to the Lord your Abba Shem Yashai. You know, for the most I go show we mercy and abundantly pardon. Right? So we gotta turn back to your Abba Shem Yashai. Right? We gotta, hey, we gotta make back our father proud. You know, hey. And do what he say. Right, so we gotta repent and turn back to our father. Right? The judges two verse start at fourteen. He say and the and, and the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them. And he sold them into the hands of the enemies round about. So that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. You know, because hey, hey, back then hey, the Mosai was with me. Right? The Mosai was we we destroy all the enemies. Right? But breaking the Mosai law, statutes and commandments, hey, the Mosai bring me into the hands of the spoilers. Because we, we can't stand against Esau right now. Esau, Esau will take me out. Right? So we can't come against Esau right now. Right, vengeance belonging to your Basham Yashai. The Mosai gotta come and take you out of this place. You know? Because we know the Mosai gonna use us. Because you see, Israel is the, the, the battle axe. The weapons are war. And with us, we will we will, we will destroy nations. So we gotta wait on your Basham Yashai. You know? So we can't go to Esau right now to fight him. Right? He say, um, verse 15, he say, Whether soever they went out, the hand of the Lord was hot, was against them for evil, as the Lord had said, and as the Lord had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. Hey, we distressed in this place. Hey, we subject unto payments, we in debts. Hey, we in a low condition, we in poverty. Right? Everywhere we turn is bills, bills piling up. Right? <clears throat> and yet, hey, and yet all is still the one I believe all is Israelite. These prophecies a hey, concern all here. This the Bible speaks of all here. Right? We the people that hey, facing these conditions right now. Where you all wanna call all yourself Africans, Jamaicans, Trinidadians. All these things, hey, we are Israelite. The Mosai put the curses upon us. The law, statutes, and commandments were given unto Israel. We broke it and end up in this condition we in. Right? 
Verse 16, he said, Nevertheless, the Lord raised up judges which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. Right? So the Mosai raised up judges. You know, the, the, the apostles at Great Millstone. Right? To turn around the people, to wake up the people, you know, to the true national identity that they are Hebrew Israelites. And our power is the power of Israel, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, to turn back and repent and cry unto our Father for mercy if He could deliver us out of this darkness. Right? Verse 17 He says, And yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a whoring after other gods and bow themselves unto them. They turn, they turn quickly out of the way which their fathers walk in being the commandments of the Lord but they did not so right you see and when the Lord raised them up judges then the Lord was with the judges and delivered them out of the hands of their enemies right so he was going to deliver the elect you know the, the, the judges you know out of the hands of our enemies you know and the scripture is saying um, in Ecclesiasticus 34, which is Sirach 34, verse 12, he said, I was often times in danger of death, yet I was delivered because of these things. He said, The spirit of those that fear the Lord Yahweh shall live, for their hope is in him that saved them. Right? You know, and hey, and we we fear we fear our Basham your child. We will we will speak his words, right? Because we hope is in him. Is he gonna deliver us out of this hell, out of this place, right? So back to eighteen verse eighteen, he say, and the Lord raised them up judges. Then the Lord was with the judges and delivered them out of the hands of their enemies all the days of the judges, for it repented the Lord because of their groanings by reason of them that oppress them and vex them hey we seeing wickedness in this place hey we, we fed up at this place crying out right see me he saw a hey, legalizing homosexuality all these all these wickedness he doing he crying out most like to destroy this place these things is vex we we fed up at this wicked ass place right this is Ezekiel 23 verse 28. He said, for, for thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will deliver thee into the hands of them whom thou hatest. Right? So the most likely he will deliver we into the hands of whom he hates. And who is that the most I hate? Right? This is Romans 9 verse 13. He said, As it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. Right? So the Mosai delivered me into the hands of Esau, the so-called white man. Right? The Mosai hate he. Right? There is Malachi 1. I'll start at verse 1. He said, The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord Yahweh. Yet he say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob brother? Said the Lord Yahweh. Yet I loved Jacob and hated Esau and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragon of the wilderness. Right? So the Mosai hate Esau and he delivered us into the hand of the so-called white man, which is the devil. Right? So he delivered us into the hands of whom he hates. Right? So I will read it back. He said, for, for thus said the Lord power, Behold, I will deliver thee into the hand of them whom thou hatest, into the hand of them from whom my mind is alienated. Right? You see, and they shall deal with thee hateful, hatefully, right? And shall take away all thy labors. Right? So the most I say, he shall deal with me hatefully. Right? Back to the, um, the prayer of Azariah, right? 1 verse 8, he say, And thou deliver us into the hands of lawless enemy, most 
hateful for seekers of God and to an unjust king and the most wicked in all the world. Right? So, hey, the so-called white man don't love you all. The so-called white man don't love you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. They hate you all. They were born to be wicked. Right? It is in them to be wicked. They don't like you all. They're killing you all over there. As the scripture say, <clears throat> if a man can be good to himself, who shall he be good to? Right? He's so polluted. He's so polluted the air with chemtrail. All the fools he's defiling. And he living on the same earth. Living on the same planet. So who? Who you go be good to? If he can't be good to himself. See, he's so killing you jakes over there in America. All over, all, all over the place. These people don't love y'all. And hey, soon y'all gonna soon y'all gonna see him in action once more. Because you know you have a short time. And the devil gonna come down with great wrath. He's all gonna kill a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all gonna be caught in these concentration camps. You know? A lot of y'all, hey, <laughs> hell coming. You all will see this devil in action once more. Because you know your basham, your shy coming to take him out. Right? Back to Ezekiel 23 verse 29. He says, And they shall deal with thee hatefully, and shall take away all thy labor, and shall leave thee naked and bare, and the nakedness of thy whoredom shall be discovered, both thy lewdness and thy whoredom. Right? He says, I will do these things unto thee, because thou hast gone a whoring after the heathen, and because thou art pollute with their idols. Right? So we're going after the ways that he hidden. You're all celebrating Christmas. All these things is hiddenish custom. Easter, all these things, all they're celebrating is the ways that he hidden. So we're going a hoeing after the heathens. And a lot of y'all gonna get put to death. A lot two third of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, gonna get put to death by the great and terrible God Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You all need to repent and turn back to the Lord, Yahweh Basham, your shy. And the scripture in Isaiah 55, chapter say, you know, let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto Yahweh Basham, your shy. Right? For the Most High will abundantly pardon. Right? So we gotta turn back to Yahweh Basham, your shy. You know? And well, and with that. I want to say all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakakadash, the Lord and to the Apostles and Elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation to the Akiyam Tem Odu, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Korah from Trinidad Camp, saying Shalom.